Kitale. Zele Barusha Kaparia Kuz Lamande Lebraste. Ask God, as His word is coming forth, your eyes will be open. Your eyes will be open. Your eyes will be, your ears will be open to hear that which the Spirit is saying at this particular time and season. Come on, somebody, lift up your voice to the Lord. Mazikom Barusha Klabaruse Ketali Abrahaste. Zendele Brazo Gradia Clemande Le Barusha Kitalia Barate. Azonde Le Barusha Kia Clamande Le Barusha Kitale. Mazatalia Brazo Glamande Le Barusha Kitia La Bahatej. Mazetele Bregus La Mandalia Brasa Kitia La Baria Sakata. Do Imba Hosanna. Do imba hosanna, do imba hosanna, do imba hosanna. Help me sing Hosanna. Help me sing Hosanna. Do him ba Hosanna. Do him ba for in your presence I belong Where your mercy is overflow Where the weak are made strong Your love will remain your love will remain. Do him baho zana. Do him baho zana. Come on, just worship him, worship him. Oh, do him baho zana. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor. I thank you, Lord, for the right articulation to bring forth your word that the hearers, O Lord, may walk in the understanding of that which you are speaking in this particular time and season. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. In the mighty and glorious name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. I had begun, I had begun this, uh, this teaching part of it last uh, Thursday, Psalms 25, Psalms 25, so I'll begin in a form of a recap and then we will escalate to, to get deeper. The secret of the Lord is, my, is, is, is our teaching for today. The secret of, I cannot hear you, the secret of what? The secret of the Lord. And Proverbs 25 verse 2, this is what the Bible says. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing. But the honor of kings is to search out a matter. It is the honor or it is the glory of God to conceal a thing. 
That word thing in another version is matter. And the Hebrew word for, for that thing is dabar, which means word, which means advice, which means commune, which means thoughts. So the glory of God is to conceal a matter, but it is the honor of kings to search it out. Are you here? Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. The, the people who all it needs for them to understand where they're going is to be in the presence of God, is to be in the glory of God. Why? Because it is the glory of God to conceal a word, an advice, a commune. How you know the thoughts of God is when you appear into his presence. It is the honor. This is how God is. This is his nature. This is the glory of God to hide. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is why we read last time, 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 12. Uh, then, then spake uh, Solomon that God spake and he said that he will dwell in the thick darkness. God will dwell in the thick darkness. So I want to, I want to emphasize on this first point that it is, it is, it is the glory of God to conceal a matter that is his nature praise the lord jesus christ okay everything that is supposed to be known about god has been revealed to us the bible says in romans chapter one that no one should be without excuse but it is not everything the lord reveals to people okay in other words there's some deep things there's some secrets because it is his nature he hides to reveal to some specific people the bible says that if the kings of the world had this wisdom they will not have crucified the lord of glory they had a wisdom they had the wisdom of this world the wisdom of man but still they they, they, they could not know the will of god or that thing which was precious which god was about to do the bible says had they known it they will not have crucified the lord of glory so this is the wisdom of God. This is his glory. And it, he hides it. And that is why he says, this is the mystery that was hidden and now revealed unto us. Christ in us, the hope of glory. It is revealed to as many as believed in him. They were given the power, the right. So it is by the spirit of God. The Bible says, I has not seen he has not heard, has not entered the heart of any man. The things which God has prepared for them that love him, but he has revealed. Revelation comes after something has been demystified, after darkness has been illuminated. Illumination comes after one has brought light to your understanding praise the lord jesus christ so it is the nature of god the glory of god it is who he is his splendor to hide praise the lord jesus christ we read another verse psalms 18 verse 11 which says he made darkness his secret place his pavilion round about him were dark he made darkness his secret place when you say he that dwells in the secret place of the most high, what does it mean? It means a place where not even the vulture's eyes can see, not even the lion's whelps can, tro can, can trod upon. It is, it, is, it is a place higher. And that is why he says, who shall ascend to this mountain? Who shall stand in this place? It is hidden. It is not for everyone to ascend to this place. It is the glory of God. And God guards his glory. He does not just reveal his glory to anyone. You have to pay the price. You have to show it that you truly mean it. That you and this is why the psalmist says in Psalm 63 that, O oh God, thou art my God. He says, Early will I seek thee. In a dry and weary land where there is no water. He says, To see thy power and thy glory such as i've seen in the sanctuary so there are some specific places where the lord reveals his glory and you have to have that hunger that desire to see it that is why he says you shall seek me and you shall find me when you seek me wholeheartedly he says without faith it is impossible to please me and anyone that comes to me must first believe that i'm a reward of them that diligently earnestly seek me 
Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's the glory of God. If you desire to, 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 to understand him, you have to get deeper. The Bible says, as deep calleth unto deep. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. We read uh, Isaiah. It was Isaiah. Isaiah 45 verse 15. It says, Verily thou art a God that hidest thyself. Oh, we know that God is everywhere. But it says, Verily, verily, truly, you are the God that hides himself. O God of Israel, the Savior. The dimensions... There are things which God does not just entrust to anyone simply because... Look at the Pharisees. The Pharisees thought they knew the scriptures. But they see a man and they come to him, Jesus, and, he say, and they ask him, When will the kingdom of God come? Why? Because they have the scriptures. They know the kingdom of God is supposed to come, but they do not know when. But they see something on Jesus, something so unique that when the kingdom of God shall come, such are the things that will work upon Jesus. That is why Nicodemus comes to Jesus. Nicodemus was a Pharisee of Pharisee. But he says, he comes to Jesus in the night. And he says, Rabbi, we know that you are a man sent from God. For no man does the things you do except God be with him. What was it? Jesus was in the place, in the bosom of the Father, in the glory of the Father, the secret places of the Father, that he walks in that dimension. It is the glory of God to hide a thing. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter, an advice, a teaching, a dimension, and it can only be seen on those who have ascended so high. That is why I told you, the mountain of the Lord is ascendable. Why does the Bible say, who shall ascend the mountain of the Lord? It is ascendable. Or who shall stand in his holy place? It means it is a place, it is a platform set in the holy place for men to step in. It is written in the Bible, there is a time the sons of men came before the presence of God. What does that mean? Even in the holy place of God, where his glory is, there is a place assigned, a portion for us to step in. That is why he says, let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness that we may have mercy. It is by mercy we stand before him. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, praise the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's the first point. It is the nature of God. The essence of the glory of God is to hide. The essence of the glory of God is to conceal a matter. Dabar, a thing, a word, an advice, a teaching, a thought. If you want to know what God is doing, enter to where his glory is. And that is a hidden place, a place where we've not been called to visit, a place we've been called to dwell. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you here? So he says, it is the glory of God to do what? To conceal a matter, an advice. A thing, a thought, the reason why many people do not know what God is doing in a season or in a generation is because God does not just reveal to everyone. He looks for specific people. When you read uh, uh, the book of Jonah chapter 1, the Bible says, And the word of the Lord came to Jonah, son of Amittai. He's specific. There were many Jonas, but it just comes to Jonah, son of God is specific in the instruments of revival he's using. Or rather, God is specific when he picks someone in your family that he may use to bring out a dimension. All the dimensions of God we know, we call God Jehovah Adonai, Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Isus Gibor, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah El Roy, Jehovah Zindukenu, Jehovah Shammah. All these names of God are dimensions that we saw or we understood in his experiences with men, individuals. We know that God, upon the mountain of the Lord, God will provide. It was God dealing with who? It was God dealing with who? What one Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. You come to me with a sword and a spear, but I come to you with the God in the name of the Lord of hosts. That was David. The God of hosts, his name is called Jehovah Sabaoth. 
we see that dimension that God has, has host. And that is why this prophet Elijah tells, tells Gehazi, I wish you, your eyes will just open and see those that are on our side outnumber those that are on the other side. He's the God of hosts. So we understand some dimensions that are hidden in God through his experiences or through his encounters with men, with individuals. I tell you, in my generation, men will understand God deeper by looking at me. Why? Because I'm the son of the Most High. I, he says, ye are gods. Ye are all sons of the Most High. But ye shall die like mere mortals. Understanding. Understanding has lacked. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. So it is the glory of God to hide, to conceal. Verily, we've read Isaiah 45 verse 15. Thou art a God that hidest himself. Psalms, he says, God dwells. He chose the secret place, the pavilion, to be the dark places where he dwells. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is why even for a prayer to be answered publicly, you have to enter to the secret place, the closet. Praise the Lord Jesus. Come on, praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. So it is the glory of God to conceal a thing. But the honor of kings is to search out a matter. The honor of kings is to search out. Now the Bible says in the honor of kings is to do what? I want you to mark that because I'm now on the second point. That it is the glory of God to conceal, to hide a matter, a thing, an advice, a thought, a word, an, a, a something in a season. But it is the honor, the glory of kings to do what? To search out a matter. Now what do you search? Do you search of, uh, the, the, the dogs called search dogs? Search dogs are first given that thing. So that they can search it out. So come on, to a park on and we bring out, we bring a search dog. It is going to search out something specific. So kings, it is the honor, the honor of the glory, the splendor of kings, is to search out a matter. What does it mean? There is a word, there is an advice, there is a thought in God that kings have the honor to search it out. Now, many Christians do not understand their second point, identity in Christ. Why? Because he says in, in, in Revelation chapter 5 that by his blood he has purchased us and he has raised the generation of kings and priests and we shall reign upon the earth. Dominion comes when you know your identity. A dog, and that's why uwa mnasema, jogowa, mashambani, hawiki wapi? I will try that, but uh, they know their territory. They, they just know their territory. Where you come go back where you came from. You just can't come. Eh? You get They know their identity. It is the honor, the glory of kings to search out a matter where in God. For the secret things belong to God. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 29 verse 29. But the revealed things belong unto us and to our children that we may walk in that law. And how can things be revealed and there unless you search them out? But they can only be revealed to you when you understand how they are revealed. And for for a revelation to come to your understanding, you must first understand identity. That you are a king. He says you are a royal. Royal means king. R royal means you've come from a kingdom. You know the word kingdom means? It means Malkut. The place, the realm, the, the place where God reigns. Unless you, 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 you have been called into this uh, realm. You've been called to rule. The Bible says we live in heavenly places with, 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 with God. But not many understand that. So they pray towards heaven. 
Meanwhile, we are supposed to pray while we're in the heavens, reigning with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. And the life that I live, I live it by faith on the Son of Jesus Christ. I live with Him in the heavenly places. And that is why time to time, through the scriptures peruse, there is one prayer that is being repeated. I pray that the eyes of your understanding will be opened, that you may understand the depth of the riches that, of your inheritance in Christ Jesus. I'm not praying, Lord, please heal. I cast out that devil. I am a priest. I am a king. I reign forever. Identity. The devil is really manipulating people because of ignorance. The devil thrives in ignorance. When people do not know who they are, when people do not know who they are, your father is a landlord now, Nashindo Kinini, tenant. It is the honor, the glory of God to conceal a matter. But the honor of kings to search it out. Now, do you know your identity? By the way, the next time you sin, I'm not saying you sin, <laughs> but the next time you sin, have a self-examination. And just ask yourself whether it was out of rebellion or out of weakness. Let me ask a question. Jesus Christ knew who he was, true or false? And the devil comes to him and tempts him and tempts him. If the devil, if Jesus fell for, for the deception the devil was bringing, what, what, how, what would we have said? Was it out of rebellion or weakness? Because Jesus is the son of God, but the devil comes and asks him, check, check all these three temptations. G the devil begins, if, if, come on, 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 what is he trying to do? He's trying to put you in that place of condition where you will prove yourself. Now, if you know you are the daughter of the Most High, you don't have to prove to somebody who wants you to sleep with them so that you know you prove to them that you love them. No. You, you cannot compromise on your identity. I don't have to prove a point. At the, oh, I'm, I'm the uh, the Queen of England. And as I come up and the close money, I say, you know I'm the Queen, I'm the queen's daughter of the queen do they do that you'll rarely but when they just step into the supermarket even how they walk everything about them they they, they may not have a money or dressed well but there's a level of confidence they just have but what crystal siriyama <laughs> josiaya you you walk in self-pity you never you never raise your your head it's a it's and yet you're the daughter of God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. That's your father, the one who created the universe, the one who kettle on a thousand hills. He is my father. Identity crisis brings about idolatry. The, the, the reason why people start worshipping graven images, things that have been created by God rather than God the creator, is simply because they have an identity crisis. They do not know who they are. And that is why I'm to ananza worship do. I'm to ananza worship to mwenzake. I'm to ananza worship. Hey, must see this. Wow. Hey. And all the attention goes there simply because they do not know who they are. The devil asked Jesus, if you're the son of man, do what? And what did Jesus tell him? Jesus had a word, the word from his father. I don't have to do this to prove. I don't have to throw myself. I, I, I don't have. I know I'm the son of the most high. And the devil looks at this lady and he realizes, oh, this woman knows herself. And he leaves. Is it out of rebellion or out of identity crisis has brought about idolatry in the church? It is your honor, it is your glory to search out things in God, in the bosoms of, of the Father. The Bible says, for who knows a man except his spirit? 
Sam, the spirit of the Lord, knoweth God. And he reveals. The Bible says, we have received not the spirit of the world. The spirit of the world has limit. The spirit of the world cannot, it has a limit. But we have not received the spirit of the world. We have received the spirit which is of God. That, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. First Corinthians chapter 2. Freely given to us of God. Somebody say, I am a child of the Most High God. I cannot hear you. Look at your neighbor, tell him, by the way, I'm the child. I am a child of the Most High God. Look at the other person, tell him, I'm the I am a child of the Most High God. Look at the one behind you, tell him, I, 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 I come from a kingdom. We never lack, we are, we are never sick. Look, t t tell them we never lack. Yeah. Last time you saw I was broke. Uh uh uh. Let me let me repeat. Let me repeat. It's not that I lacked. It it wasn't it wasn't in my. It it it, it was there, but I never lack. You just tell them that. <laughs> I never lack. <laughs> Why? Because I come from a kingdom, and and this kingdom is rich. Someone is not saying this. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So understand who you are, your identity, that you are a king, that you are a priest. And what is the our work? Is to reign. Is to reign. One priest reigns over Israel. One king reigns over a whole realm. Most labari klaba. I feel the anointing. When people just understand that that day you confessed with your mouth and believed in your heart that Christ Jesus is Lord. The Bible says, and except a man is born again of what and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And I've told you the kingdom means the Arabic word is Malkut, the realm where God reigns. The, the supreme, it's like a colony. So you can never rule with God and, unless you enter by being born again. That day you, oh, we look for sick people. If you know any dead person, bring them. Because that same anointing, that same spirit that brought Christ Jesus from the dead is living in me. Stop walking in self-pity. Understand you're the daughter. You are the son of the Most High God. Creation is awaiting, is groaning for the manifestation of the sons of God. Oh, Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I love the Holy Ghost. I love the Holy Ghost. He is the whole Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. He is the whole Holy Ghost, the scepter of the King of Kings. He is the whole Holy Ghost, the seal of the age to come. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Changing everything, changing everything. in your life. In obedience to changing everything, changing in this place. In obedience, oh, changing everything, changing. In your life, in a... this is the third point. The Bible says it is the glory of God to conceal, to hide a word, a matter. But it is, it is given. It is the glory. It is the honor of kings' identity. See, it is the honor. It is the glory of kings to do what? To search out a matter. It means the difference between a king and a servant is the honor they have. True or false? Is the glory they have. Do you remember Mordecai, what, was, what, what, what the king did to him? He was made to uh, go on top of a house and be taken through the whole land. What is the king doing? The king was giving him honor. And, and, and honor or glory 
is the difference in the offices. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. There is the office of the president. There is the office of the woman representative. There is the office of the chief. And there is your office. <laughs> <laughs> the honor these offices have is, the, is what makes the difference. Now the Bible says it is the glory of God to hide, to conceal a matter. But the honor of kings, you who is a king, you who is a priest, it is the honor of kings to do what? Now, I, I, I hope you got it. In your office, you've been given the ability. Did you see what the president did the other day? A woman uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the prison. And she just, and what does the king say? Mwekeni kwa niniangu ya masi. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter the bondage. Because of the honor given to the, that office of the president, some, some things are shortened or some things can be prolonged. And that is why I'm, I'm telling you today. Because if you understand your identity in Christ, that you are a king, there are some things you can never allow to happen in your life or in your family. Far be it. If the righteous men dwell in the land of Kajiado, it, it cannot happen. It cannot happen. The steel bars can go on. The steel brothels can be alive. Far be it from us. If truly we are kings and priests and we are reigning in this land of Kajiado by the kingdom of God, far be it from us that it will continue. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. So it is given the glory the honor of kings is to search out a matter. That's the ability. The ability. In other words, in other words, in other words, you are in a position to know God better than someone who is not born again. If, 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 if the disciples of Jesus Christ Whenever he spoke and they never understood him. Do you know what they did? They came unto him and told him, Master, what did you mean? And he explained to them. And to some extent, he said, This one is given to you to understand. So you should not be asking. In other words, they were in that place where they understood God so much that when the rest do not understand, to them it is not given not to understand. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in First John chapter 2 that you have an unction, verse 10, you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things. You know all things. How? Because you've been given the honor, the glory. What is that honor? It's the Spirit of God. Look at your neighbor, tell him, I have the Spirit of the living God. I have the liberty to know the Father. In Jesus' name. That's it, friends. That's the honor. That's the glory. Let me tell you, once you understand this, go and see things that are happening. Ask God, why is this happening? When, when, when a crippled man is there, what do the disciples do? They come to Jesus. This man <laughs> has been like this since he was born. Makosa nianani. Makosa nataka. Because they were walking with God. What question can be hard for you? And yet you have the honor of the one who has the answer, the solution to everything. Because by him all things were made, the Bible says in 1 John. And nothing was made that was made through him. And in him was life. And this life is the light of man. And the light shines in darkness. And darkness cannot comprehend it. It means when you have Jesus, illumination, you can never walk in darkness. And that is what the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2. For you, you are living in darkness under the rulership of the spirit of, of the ruler of air, who is now at work in the sons of disobedience. But by the mercy, the grace of God, you, you are now quickened. And you are now in this kingdom. You are reigning with Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved, no, no, not by works, by faith, lest any man should boast. 
Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And then he says, you are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, that you may do his good works, which he ordained even before the foundations of the earth were laid. What does that mean? There is a glory, there is an honor which has been given unto you, a liberty for you to work, for you to serve, for you to know the Father. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And it is given or it is with us by the help of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, shout hallelujah. Is that how we shout hallelujah? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Hallelujah means God be praised. God be praised forever and ever. I want to wrap it up because I want us to pray. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the Bible says, those who fear the Lord, the secret of the Lord is with that. Who is that man that feareth the Lord? The Bible says, he will teach him or he will show him the path they should take. Praise the Lord Jesus. And to, to, to fear the Lord means to hate that which is evil, to love that which God loves. And God loves communion. God loves koinonia. God loves us to just fellowship. He came to Adam and Eve and he says, Where art thou? They had come from that place of communion. Not that God could not see that they had hidden themselves in the trees in the Garden of Eden, but that place of communion, that secret place, they had fallen from it. And tonight God is asking, where are you? Because he wants to show you, he wants to give you precious things, things that the people of the world can never know. Had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But right now he's entrusting unto them that he calls his own. He says, you've not received the spirit of fear or the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you've received the spirit of adoption whereby you cry, Abba, Father. And if truly is your father, if truly is the friend that sticks closer than a brother, then what is this that he cannot reveal unto you? Jonathan and David had a very close kind of relationship. The father wants to kill David. And Jonathan comes and tells David, what manner of fellowship was this? A very deep, close relationship. And now the Bible says there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. What the enemy wants to do, before it even happens, the Bible says, the Spirit of the Lord will show you things to come. And that is why the Bible says, God does not do anything Amos chapter 4 verse 7, I believe, without revealing to his servants the prophet. Not just the prophet, servants the prophet. Do you know what a servant is? A servant is one who continuously is faithful in, the, in, in, in acting or in doing the will of the master. So as long as you are in active service, the Lord can never do anything in Kajiado, in Africa, in the world without showing you. Without showing you without showing you and he says speaking of moses if there is any other prophet in israel i speak to them in dreams in visions but not so with my servant moses with him i speak to face to face that was the old testament right now there is another glory there is an honor given to us as kings who have been purchased by the blood of the lamb that we can commune with the father because he's not just in heaven he's living in us the fullness of the Godhead is now in us. It is in him we live, we move and have our being. He says, don't you know that your body is at the temple, the sanctuary, the dominion of the Lord. Everywhere you go, you just, you, you, the Bible says, who has known the mind of Christ that he may instruct him? But you have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ. He abides in you. Christ is living in you. But again, this is the understanding which many do not have. So I stand before doors, I stand before gates, and they have to be lifted. They have to be open. For the King of Glory <laughs> is here. Le paro sacambalia copareta, elazonde levradia clemandes lovaria clabarita, ezosia labaria. I tell you, Ngong must open up. I tell you, Ngong hears us. And everything that is not aligned by the will of God right now, we bring it down. Right now, every stronghold, we pull you down in the name of Jesus Christ. And we decree and declare that it is only the realm, only the kingdom of God that 
is established and will be established continuously in the land of Ngong. Somebody say amen. amen. The last point. The Bible says it is the glory of God to conceal a thing, a matter. But it is the honor it is given unto kings to search it out. Now, there is a story given of Daniel. And the king dreams. But no one, no one in the whole of Babylon could demystify or at least explain or at least tell the dream which the king had. Now, if, if the creator or the one who has made a phone is the one who knows every detail, and that phone uh, has or is messed up, and you take it to another person, or let's be more specific, the, 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 the creator of, 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 of Samsung, and then you take to them, uh, you take to them an iPhone. They're still phones, but they may not truly or fully solve the problem. Maybe this will sound better with Mercedes Benz because it is a German machine. You cannot take a Mercedes Benz, Mercedes Benz to a Toyota dealer <laughs> to fix <laughs> true or false. Why? Because he does not know the heart, the spirit, the condition through which this Mercedes Benz was made. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, a dream that God has given, you will only need a man with the spirit of the Lord to not only tell or reveal or explain, but to demystify the meaning of that dream. Now, King Nebuchadnezzar calls all the, he says, all the magicians, all the sorcerers, all these people that they may come and tell or demystify that, tell the meaning of the dream he had. And none of them could do it. Day and night, no one could do it. Until the cup bearer says, there was a man when I was in prison, told me, of the dream and it came to pass as exactly as this is the fourth point that it is given it is the glory of kings and you are a royal priesthood by the blood of the lamb you've been purchased and you've been made to be a king and a priest and you shall reign upon the earth forever it is given unto you the spirit of the king Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. That you may tell the heart of the king. A couple that has stayed together for long understand each other so, so, so much that when you come to that house and you begin to say, if I no, my husband does not love when she has truly understand the heart of the husband in fact the spirit because of intimacy now the bible says for as many as received him they were given the power another word is right to become it's a process to become the sons of god and what is that right? What is that power? It is the Holy Spirit. Who or what is the Holy Spirit? He is the Spirit of the Father. The Bible says He is the one that searches the deep things of the Father and He reveals to us. And that is why He says we have not been given the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God.
That is why we lay hands on people that they may receive the Spirit of God. Because without that, you will preach this, God, this word, you will teach, they will never understand. Because spiritual things are only understood spiritually. The Bible says the carnal man does, cannot understand. It cannot fathom. The Bible says, the wind bloweth where it listeth, and you do not know where it comes or where it goes. Such are them that are led of the Spirit. So, well, how you cannot explain God, you cannot cut a spirit, it's like the wind. That is the, that, 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 that is the office, or that, that, that is the life we've been called to live in. Mysteriousness. Mystery. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. It's not about how much you can quote scriptures. Pharisees did that. But they see a man full of God and they're the first to persecute. So when you have the spirit of a king, and that is why King Nebuchadnezzar calls Daniel and he says, Behold a man in whom the spirits of the gods dwell. <laughs> because he level, hakuna mtu mwingine angeweza ku bring these solutions. Now what happens when you understand this and you get into that place of work or you get into that school? <laughs> Someone was, yesterday told me something. I've been given an opportunity to minister in my school. This is what I told him. Heaven is backing you up. The Spirit of the Lord is with you. Go and explore that place. It is a time. This, this, this is this, the... Oh, Monday, Kovzalia, Kaparita. This is the generation of the blessing ones. Those who know intimacy like a man and a woman have come together, Genosko. They've known each other. It normally births something. Genesis chapter 4, the Bible says, verse 1, And Adam knew Eve, his wife. So you're only supposed to know your wife. And the Bible says, And Eve bore a son. Um, in fact, the Bible, King James says, And Eve bore a man from the Lord. A man from the Lord. What does that mean? Intimacy normally but something great. And that is why the Bible says, He that sleeps with the prostitute, they become one. So he, what happens when you are intimate with the Father? When the Spirit of the Lord is dwelling in you. And the Spirit of the Lord shall overshadow you. And the Spirit of the Lord those who know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. 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 I feel the anointing of the Holy One. Because this, this, is, the, this is the season. He says, arise and shine. For thy light is come. And the glory... You understand now? The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. It is given. It is the glory of kings to search out a matter. The spirit of the Lord is now in you. You have the honor. You have the liberty. The ability to get into the bosom of the Father. And demystify, reveal, bring out things. Dimensions that many never knew. Oh, you know God as God Rapha. You know as Jehovah Elohim. Jehovah El Elyon. It is high time. A new dimension of God is revealed to a generation. Benihin revealed a new move of the spirit. It does not stay there because God is unlimited. God is deep. God is so vast. You cannot put a ceiling on God. He's so, so deep, we can never, we can, we can never finish all that. He, eternity, even eternity will never allow us. So why, what is the place of competition? What is the place of pulpit ministry? In fact, it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. You have the spirit of the Lord God Most High. The liberties of the spirit are availed to them who have the spirit of the king that they may search out. I told you, search something that is present. You don't search. The Bible says, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. What, you are not, you are such, there, is a, there is a standard, there is something. Where people, some people have a list. This is the kind of woman I have. Oh, so they are searching. There's, 
see who you see who you nah, I knew my way. <laughs> you get there's something people are looking for so it is the glory the honor of kings to search out a matter a word a thing an advice a thought a teaching a dimension in god how does that happen when we avail ourselves to the spirit of the lord oh jesus out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of my belly, belly, out of my belly shall flow. Jesus stood and cried on that great day of the feast and he said, if anyone believes out of my belly, belly, belly out of my belly shall flow shall rivers rivers of living waters out of my belly, belly out of my belly come on arise on your feet out of my belly belly come on lift up your voice le mande barusa caparata as le kembre gedos la mande le combra gadisulia barita Vimura out of my belly, belly, out of belly, belly shall flow. Rivers, 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 living waters. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Come and lift up your voice. Declare, declare. Let it flow, let it flow. Send the paria condele salia paria talia man. E parica pa cu pralia sali maria dada. Engali soli prali cobrali soli a paria tada. Ei, out of my belly, belly, out of my belly. Ma comba lusari talila e aroma peli peli e ya 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 Come on begin to open up your mouth le kabaro satale let the eternity river flow le kambara sos la gabari atalia konde le bares embregeto saka paria kozali amanda la baria tata Zakabaria kos le mende le kende gele breke dosa era kabaria kosali a baria kata era kosali a mandaria kos la barita era kosali a mandaria kasi a kle mende le barita e zakabaria tos le mende le cobra aslo kambra gadia kle mende le baria stekida e kle mende le kende gele breke dosa. Ele prega dos la manda la garia la baria sakata. It is the honor, it is the glory of God to hide a thing, but it is the honor of kings to search out a matter. Come on, somebody, open up your mouth. Such things right now in the spirit. Such things in the spirit. Come on, such things in the spirit. Such things in the spirit. Come on, speak in tongues if you can. Maseto lia parita, e kumbra gadia gle mande le parisa. Masa gabaria kosa le abarat, masa gabaria katalia kata. Raka baria gadaga le breke dos, reka zanda la garia sonde, ele paria kosa ne le karia kata. Rapa zaka baria kosa le mande le karis, 
Rekozalia mandaria kozakata. Raparaga dagala braga dagale bragate. Resagadagale braga dagale brasosila. Embrados la mandaria kozlabari.